So what do I want people to know about the Athletes Village? I want them to know that it's both home to 10,000 athletes and officials and it's an award-winning community that's going to benefit our province for years to come. While we had planned the West Donlands in a very comprehensive fashion, this was going to be a fairly lengthy build-out. I think having the games come along now has been a huge catalyst and moved this advanced the schedule probably by a decade. This was a true collaboration between the public and private sectors and, and uh, you can see the incredible results that, that happens when uh, you can bring those, those, uh, those parties together. This has truly been a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the entire team to uh, build and to shape uh, a new neighbourhood for Toronto. One of the great legacies for Ontario of hosting the Pan Am Para Pan Am Games uh, is the Athletes' Village. We're going to find on that location an 80,000 square foot YMCA facility, George Brown College uh, residence, commercial space, condos, affordable housing. And the fact that the village is right downtown, it is unique for everyone, for Torontonians and for the athletes who are coming in from other countries. It's going to be an amazingly unique experience. The legacy that the village leaves, the legacy that the infrastructure investments by governments leave, it's really, that's really what symbolizes and that's really what's important.